This next story is one of the most pathetic I've covered in a while. Donald Trump's face will feature on Israeli coin marking 70th anniversary of Israel independence following decision to move U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem. Celebratory coin has President Trump's face side by side with head of King Cyrus. The biblical character allowed the Jews to return to Jerusalem 2,500 years ago. Makers of coin, uh, of coin Mikdash Educational Center liken Trump to savior from Bible. So this is how um, crazy the world is. <laughs> Trump is being treated like he's a prophet of some sort. Yeah, listen. And the actions of today really uh, speak to this effect. For those of you who don't know, there's a massacre of Palestinian, peaceful Palestinian protesters going on as I speak to you right now. At least 41 are dead. Nearly 2,000 are injured. There are children who've been killed. Israeli snipers are killing innocent people. They did this recently with journalists. They're doing it again now with peaceful protesters. And as that's happening, the far right in Israel and the far right in the U.S. are acting like everything is great because, oh, we opened up the, the embassy in Jerusalem. Now, what this move is, is nothing but a giant slap in the face to Palestinians and a, a declaration of there will be no peace, there will be no free and independent Palestinian state. So really, the fawning adoration for Donald Trump from the far right in Israel is a thank you for letting Israel do whatever the fuck they want with no consequences whatsoever. None. None at all. In a world that made sense when you have permanent illegal occupation happening, the U.S. would say, okay, we're just not going to sell any more weapons to you. You're not going to get any more weapons. And you're not going to get any more money. You know, we subsidize them billions of dollars a year, and they have universal health care. We don't have universal health care. The fuck is that shit about? So you cut off the subsidies, you'd cut off the weapons, and you'd let them know, hey, if you're going to just keep violating Palestinian human rights, you get nothing. You have to sit down at the table and, and do a peace deal. But no, Donald Trump gives them the, the money, gives them the weapons... As they massacre Palestinians, he's like, yeah, whatever, I don't care. Let's reward them with being able to move the embassy, the U.S. embassy to Jerusalem, which says this is the undivided capital of Israel, Jerusalem is, which means that the Palestinians, this isn't going to be your capital in a future Palestinian state. There is going to be no Palestinian state. So this, what this really is, is a thank you for uh, illegal occupiers saying, thank you for letting us continue to commit war crimes on a regular basis and not even giving us a slap on the wrist and supporting us in the process. That's what this is. And by the way, as I brought up previously, you know, you have documented well-known anti-Semites, Christian fundamentalists, who are at this event commemorating the U.S. Embassy moving to Jerusalem. John Hagee, Pastor Robert Jeffers. Now, why? Isn't that weird? Like, why would they be welcome there? Well, they're welcome there because Christian fundamentalists believe... The rapture is going to happen in Israel. That's where Jesus is going to come back. But all the land needs to be Israel's first. So fuck the Palestinians. And of course, the Israeli far right, ultra-Orthodox uh, fundamentalist Jews, they want all the land for religious reasons as well. So you have this unholy alliance of religious fundamentalists and lunatics on the Jewish side and the Christian side. And they really do view Donald Trump as helping fulfill biblical prophecy here. So you put him on a coin and you act like he's a genius and he's brilliant. When in reality, this is like, you know a mass psychosis of people believing religious garbage and massacring pe innocent people in the process. So this is shameful and disgusting and sad, and you shouldn't even need any of the context here. Just the fact that they're putting Donald Trump's face on a coin is stupid in and of itself. <laughs>